While over the past few weeks, we have begun to come down the other side of the fourth wave, we have seen before how fast things can change. I would like to remind Albertans that we must stay vigilant, especially as temperatures drop and we head into winter. This is important for two reasons. First, during winter time, more activities move indoors where the risk of COVID-19 transmission increases. Second, it's now influenza season, which means we can expect a rise in the number of Albertans with respiratory symptoms and other illnesses, including seasonal influenza. Last year, we had our strongest influenza vaccine campaign with more than 1.1 million Albertans receiving their flu shot. Unfortunately, so far this year, uptake has been slower. At this point, about 20% of Albertans have been immunized against influenza, with more than 916,000 doses of influenza vaccine administered across the province. The good news is that there is still plenty of time to add getting the flu shot to our to-do lists. It's a free and easy way to protect your health, and it's more important now than ever. The flu shot won't prevent COVID-19, but it will reduce your chances of getting sick with influenza and spreading it to others. While the flu is not as severe as COVID-19, it can be very serious for the very young and the very elderly. We know that uh, when there are large numbers of people in crowded indoor environments, that that presents the highest risk of transmission. Uh, but we also know that this has been a long haul for Albertans, and so that's why we do have the framework that facilitates indoor social gatherings right now, where all of those who are eligible for vaccine are fully vaccinated, um, and having two households with no more than uh, 10 people of that eligible age group present is a way to allow people to have that interaction while at the same time minimizing the risk of transmission. So it is important if people are thinking about uh, gathering together that they do so um, again, either through that framework or we do also have the ability for venues to host events through the restriction exemption program where it's uh, ensured that there is that check and balance on um, those who are in attendance to minimize the chance that those events could be large spreading events.